indicator, and we'll just start explaining some of these other indicators that we could have used to do the same thing. Well, a real common tool that we all use, right, is a magnetic base with an indicator. Now, if you're using a mag base, we're not going to be mounting it to the outside of the spindle, right? We're going to put it onto the part of the spindle that actually rotates round and round. Now, the nice thing about this style of mag base is that they come in all different shapes and sizes, right? Depending on what kind of part you need to measure. Uh, next is our Indicol. What's unique about this indicator setup is that it'll go on most Cat 40 tool holders. It just kind of snaps along the outside edge. It's like an erector set, all the pieces you can add to it. With extensions, this is a great accessory to help you reach large diameter parts. Next on our list is this dovetail mount using a horizontal indicator. Now, for a lot of years, this was my favorite indicator setup. It was cheap, fit in a small little box. I could use this indicator for everything. Um, I gotta tell you, the one drawback of this indicator is that as you're rotating the part round and round, you can't see the dial as the indicator is facing away from you. Now you can use a mirror, we've all done that. And a little side tip here, if you're using a mirror and you need an extra hand, uh, grab your micrometer stand and use that to hold your mirror for you. Or you could even use a magnetic base to hold the mirror. Okay, so this indicator uh, I've, I've really liked lately. This is a 3D sensor. Uh, you can use this as an edge finder as well. Picks up things remarkably quickly, right, manually. You can also use this for picking up holes. You can find one edge, then the other, and, and split the difference. Well, we're going to finish up here on our coaxial indicators. These are the gold standards for picking up holes, and there's a good reason for that. The dial is always facing the operator. With the coaxial indicators, you can use a mag base to hold the arm on the blade coaxial indicator to keep it from spinning around on you. And the Heimer actually has a built-in kind of antenna that can rest against your part to your fixture to keep the face from spinning while you indicate. Well, we did it. We were able to pick up the hole on our part and set our G55X0Y0 offset. Now, normally to pick up a hole, I would have just used a probe, right? The probe could have given us the diameter of that hole as well, and we could have done all kinds of fun stuff with that value. Well, if you like this video, be sure to like, share, comment, and subscribe. You don't want to miss any of these upcoming videos. Well, thanks for letting us be a part of your success and for watching this Haas Tip of the Day. Thank you.